with a super awesome HIT workout routine. What is HIT? High intensity interval training. What is it and what are the benefits? High intensity interval training is not only the fastest way to increase your VO2 max, aka your cardiorespiratory system, but also it's the best way to work out functionally, to increase strength, power, burn fat in the shortest amount of time. For this workout, the only thing you need is a Tabata timer or a timer on your phone. Tabata is just the traditional HIT formula that's come out and it is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. There are a hundred timer apps on your phone. Pick any one. What we're going to do is the exercise part for 20 seconds with a 10 second rest interval period and we're going to alternate exercises throughout the routine. Today I've got four exercises for you that's going to look like six because we got to do everything on both sides. I'm going to include a little demo of each one during the workout before the actual timer starts and we're doing the work. Set your timer up for 12 rounds, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. I'm going to include a little warm up period as well. So we've got 60 seconds to warm up the body. As always, please consult a physician before starting any new exercise program. Get your timer, get your yoga mat, and let's get started. I'm gonna start my timer here. We've got two minutes of a little warm up routine I'm gonna take you through. Then it's gonna go right into our 20 second interval of high intensity, followed by our 10 second rest period. It sounds confusing, I know, but just stay with me. You'll get it after the first couple exercises. And by all means, pause the video when you need to catch up. Are you ready? Let's go. Downward dog. Send those hips high to the ceiling. Get a good stretch in the hamstrings. Bend and alternate your knees here into a little running stance. Good, we're getting a nice stretch in the hamstrings and the low back here. I want you to send that body up into a plank position where you're gonna step into a lunge. I understand not everyone is that flexible. Get into a lunge however easily, comfortably, and safely you can. Drop that back knee, untuck the toe, and we're gonna stretch the hip flexor here. Nice and deep, good. Tuck that toe, send yourself back into a high lunge, adjust your feet as needed. Never lock out your knees, always keep a slight bend. Good, we're gonna send that, those hips back into a downward dog, get a good deep stretch. Keep bending and alternating those knees, keep it loose, keep it dynamic. Go ahead and step into that other low lunge. You feel it in your hamstring? Good. Drop that back knee. Untuck the toe. Sitting up nice and high. Stretching out that hip flexor. Good. We want to keep it moving. Keep it dynamic. We've got to get ready for our workout. Send it back to a high lunge. Good. Nice and gentle, okay? Wherever your body's at. My left side's always way more tight than my right. Just the way it is. Good. Send it back. Downward dog. Go ahead and come to standing. Make sure your water is nearby. Good. Let's stretch out our upper body really quick. Get a nice stretch leaning over. Nice. Good. Keep it dynamic. That means moving. No static stretches before we work out. We want to get the body and blood flow pumping. Good. Stretch, reach, breathe. Last one. Other side. Get ready to go. First exercise is jump squats. And begin. Keep those hips back, knees behind the toes. Good. If you have any knee injuries, you will be performing squats, stationary speed like this. Good. 10 seconds rest. Breathe. Make sure your water is nearby. Next exercise, push-ups to a downward dog. You can do them regular. Or on your knees, which is how I'll be doing them. 
Otherwise, I'm going to tire out. And you can't have a tired trainer training for squat. Good. Lower down. Make sure those hands are directly under the pecs, under your chest. Good. Ten seconds rest here. This workout is quick, but guess what? That means it'll be over real soon. Step to the side. Side lunge. Knee crunch. Good. Here we go. Send that booty back, back, back. Keeping those knees behind the toes. Good. Here we go. And rest. Good. Other side. Breathe. Let's go. Side lunge, knee crunch. Good, if you're having trouble balancing, you can take it one step at a time. Lunge, twist. Lunge, twist. Got it? Feeling good? Good. And rest, good. We've got 10 seconds here. We're gonna lower down into a plank position. We've got my favorite oblique pipes. should be right in line with your ribs, okay? Not too wide, not too close. Good. Coming up, we've got side lunges. Woo! We're sweating. Good. Here we go. Down, up. Remember that modification. Step together, twist. Twist. Good. Yes. I gave you some of my most favorite hit exercises so that you don't get bored. You're welcome. Okay, take your breath. Other side, let's go. Good. Feet always facing forward. Sending those hips back. Nice job. Last two exercises, guys. We are almost done. Down to your plank position. Rotate those feet to the side. And pike.
which is amazing to do when you are out of time, need to work out quick and efficiently. I'm Kelly Willer, your trainer, and I will